in a variety that you probably don't have in your garden. You don't, already. and I've got to tell you about mm -hmm. this because this one had an interesting start. Okay. Because it started off on dot com, sort of like you know that great play that yeah, started yeah, yeah. off Broadway, moved to Broadway, and then took everybody by storm. Mm -hmm. That was this. It was the out of the box hit on dot com. We brought it to our main channel here, and now you've got all of these gorgeous colors. This is a great representation of that. what you can have. You've seen the white ones. You've seen the sort of uh, off pink ones, mm -hmm. but you have not seen this vanilla strawberry that looks like a dessert on a stick. It does. <laughs> and it's the ombre effect that makes it so unique and you so You would dense. say that. <laughs> yes, I I'd would. like that you a like lot, ombre? fashion lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fashion for your garden. It's the it color. It completely is. This is what makes us smile when we look out of our window and enjoy all of our the fruits of our labors. And 46310 is the item number. So talk to us about this, a perennial that, you know, is going to come back every year. It's, it's a beautiful flowering shrub. Mm -hmm. If you love hydrangeas, this is the most cold hardy of all of our types of hydrangeas. This okay. is a hydrangea paniculata. Also, it blooms on new wood, so ma no matter how bad the winter is, this is always going to bloom for you. Okay. And you can dry hydrangea blossoms, and can you imagine having these dried in your window, which I have at my house do right now. Do you have them, do you? I do, because yeah. winter is too long to not have things, and I don't want to spend a lot of money on cut flowers, mm -hmm. so I dry the hydrangeas. Once I dry them, I spray them with a little hairspray. Okay. They go to town. This is the third year, and this is a representation of what it's going to look like, okay. but the second year, this is the way it's going to look. Okay. And it's just a great look. These get six to seven feet tall. It's a fabulous flowering mm -hmm. shrub. The blooms are on all season long and it just absolutely rocks. And people have been buying them in pairs because they look great on the corners of yeah, your house. Yeah, you know what, if you want to make an impressive, you know, main entrance to your home, yes. this would be the way to do it. Um, so again, the, you can see the, the variety. I love the cone shape of these too, Philip. Yes. They have a really unique shape. So there's a peak at the top, and then it gets a little bit chubbier as it goes closer down to the wood. Um, so it has an elegance and to it. Look, look at those. Wow. If you buy several of them, right. that's what they look like. Mm -hmm. I know you've seen the white ones but this is a whole nother thing I mean this really brings it mm -hmm. the closer you get the better it looks of all the paniculatas that we sell this hydrangea paniculata is by far the most beautiful mm -hmm. it knocks me out because the pink is a beautiful clear pink it's not a muddy pink it's clear pink with that ice cream vanilla ice cream top to it and the plant that I'm shipping out to you is a nice big plant to start. Wow. So right. we send ship out big plants. We're not doing dinky. Mm -hmm. We ain't got time we for dinky. We don't do dinky. No. Go big or go home. That, thank you. Mm -hmm. Like that a lot. <laughs> but it's a handsome look in your garden because this is one of those things that blooms all the time. They, they do need frost. So if you live in an area that doesn't get any frost, these would not be for you. Okay. But a gorgeous big plant that I'm shipping out to you, already well branched, so you can expect big things out of this. By the way, you will get blooms this first very first season. year. Okay. It's spectacular. Love and them. Then, and all you need to do, of course, and add to that is, of course, our uh, bloom boost. And again, exactly. For the acid loving plants, mm -hmm. this is our acid fertilizer. Be sure to pick that up, 40 gallons worth. You can use the acid fertilizer also on your rhododendrons and on your azaleas and on your blueberries. And that is customer top rated. By the way, you will also get the growing guys. So get this and put this in your binder and that helps you keep track of how to yes. take care of them and yes. your warranty information is on there as well. Um, and 46310, please do be a favor. If you don't already have yourself a QVC credit card, the Q card, get one because on any purchase you make on air or online every day, you can opt for three easy payments. So, and, and that's good on everything except for gift cards. So if you wanted to put this on easy pay with your Q card, you could do that. Beautiful. That might afford you the opportunity to get yourself three or four so that you can make that beautiful hedge. How would you incorporate this into the design well, with our sedum? I'll, well, what I would do is I would plant the sedums in the front. In the front. Because okay. right along the edge mm -hmm. of the border, that's where you have the sedums. And by the way, right. I'll show you the sedums in a moment, uh -huh. but look how beautiful that they look here. Okay. Those are the individual flowers. By the way, those blooms are about seven or eight inches across. Wow. And they get up to a foot long. So you only need three blooms wow. to put in to a vase. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. an entire flower arrangement. Wow. And I do other dried things mm -hmm. in there with them and have them all the time. But that's the way they'll look in your garden. Uh, if you love the pinks, if you love the whites, this is a great, great way to do it in your garden. Mm -hmm. They come back every single year. As I mentioned, the most cold hardy of all of the hydrangea varieties we offer and the most beautiful.
And again, you can pick this up in multiples, take advantage of that free shipping and handling and get them home now. They will ship when it's appropriate for your part of the country. We're going to say hello to Sandy, who's joining us from Ohio. They do get frost in Ohio, so she should do well with I this. I think she'll be fine. Welcome in and say hello to Philip. Well, good morning. It's good so nice to talk to you, too. You, oh, too. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. I'm so excited over these. The color. Uh, oh, my goodness. Isn't that cool? breathtaking. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I love it. I was wild about it, too. Have you ever had any hydrangeas from Cottage Farms? Not from Cottage Farms, and I'm really excited about this. Oh, thank you. I have other ones, but I haven't had too good a luck with them. I have a problem, I think, trimming them and things like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what is the trimming process on these in let the me, fall? Let me tell you what this, this is. You only trim these. I trim mine in late winter, and I just oh. trim, off, I trim off the dead flowers. Mm -hmm. That's all I do, and then it oh. sends out the new growth. It's immediately. I don't trim mine in the fall. I trim them in late winter because even when these are dried and still on the plant in the wintertime, it's a great look. Yeah. It catches oh. the frost and it's kind of a cool look. Some people over groom their gardens. I was afraid that that was probably my problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, you can sit back and enjoy Put this. Put those snips away. This Let will them behave do their beautifully. Thing. <laughs> and I tell you what, I love these in pairs because it's like an English garden mm -hmm. to me. You've got these beautiful colors going on. And fix yourself oh. a nice place to sit out near them because you're not going to have bees around them. The bees oh, that's be, interesting. And, and I love that aspect of them. It, they're just beautiful. Oh, that's good. Well, yeah, it's a joy to be able to get them. I'm just truly excited about it. Isn't that exciting? Hoping to get a little bit more involved this year in my gardening. Mm -hmm. I've been slacking off a little. Well, so that's okay. You this know, will get me going. The ebb and good. flow a little bit. But once you see that first plant start to oh, flower, yeah. then, then you'll be right back in it. That, that's I'm all sure it takes is a little success. Well, Sandy, we appreciate you taking oh. the time to speak with us this morning. Well, thank you both. And you guys have a really great day because I'm going to be watching all day long. All right. We'll Good, be Sandy. here. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. You bet. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All righty. So this is what the plant, well, where's the first plant? Here's yeah. how it's going to come to you. So nice and big nice, and hardy. Nice big plant, right? This is after two years. This is the second year. And then this is the, the third, third year. year big, big plants. Can you imagine? Lots wow. of color. Beautiful. 500 yeah. spoken for and 46310. Continue to place your order for the hydrangea. And we're getting ready to take a little trip down to Cottage we Farms. Are. These are our massive, massive greenhouses down here. 